Hey guys, I am officially in my second trimester. So the second trimester has just started, but I wanted to give you guys a recap of how my first trimester of pregnancy went. More specifically, I want to tell you guys what I was not expecting to happen with my first trimester. I have a list of six things I was not expecting for my first trimester of pregnancy. Number one, I was not expecting eating and being on a healthy diet to be so difficult. Before I became pregnant, I was a very healthy vegetarian. I was planning on becoming pregnant, so I had been sticking to this healthy diet, getting the right amount of calories, getting like a well-balanced diet, and I was doing awesome. And then all of a sudden when I became pregnant, I got all of these food aversions and I also got cravings for things that I had never liked to eat before, unhealthy things. And so it became really difficult to actually maintain a well-balanced diet. In the very end of my first trimester, I was just not really hungry at all. I would try to figure out what maybe I would like, and so I'd add something into my diet and then realize like, nope, I don't like that. Just the whole process of eating became sort of difficult. I've been trying to eat healthy for so long to prepare for this. Like I thought, I thought that I had it. I thought I had my diet like a solid plan before I went into pregnancy. But when I got into pregnancy, it was like that plan just went out the window. So number two, I was not expecting my body to be so unpredictable. Like I didn't know what to expect from day to day. Am I going to be super tired today? Am I going to be super energized today? Am I going to be really gassy and bloated and have these gas pains today? Am I going to be able to sleep tonight? Uh, like just so many things, I couldn't predict it from day to day. Whereas before I was pregnant, I knew that if I eat this food, this will make me gassy for the day. Or if I do this late at night, I'm gonna be tired the next day. Once I became pregnant, that all went out the window as well. And I could no longer predict how I was gonna feel from day to day, or even how, <laughs> even how I was gonna like behave from day to day. My moodiness wasn't too bad, maybe I'm in denial, but I don't think I was too moody. But it was still sort of like, I don't know if, if somebody says this, is it gonna piss me off today? <laughs> it's, it's everything, everything just became so unpredictable. Number three, the third thing I was not expecting was I was not expecting to not feel pregnant. There have been a very, very few times where I have actually felt pregnant. Obviously I've had symptoms like food aversions and every once in a while I get a, like a tiny bit of nausea. But to actually feel pregnant, I think going into pregnancy or before pregnancy, I imagined that I don't know, it would be like this magical thing and that all of a sudden I would just feel so pregnant and I would have this deep connection with this baby inside me. None of that has happened at all. I still just feel like the same old me except my body has just been acting crazy. Number four, I did not expect my skin to not change at all. People always say, that their skin gets like glowing and bright and their skin clears up. So I was thinking maybe that would happen, like that would be awesome if that happened. But yeah, that did not happen. Other people say that their skin breaks out a lot when they're pregnant. My skin always sort of broke out anyways and I don't feel like it's breaking out more or less. It just feels like my skin is exactly the same. Yeah, I don't know, it's still, it's still the same. I don't have a period at all, but it's still like, you know, one week my skin will be pretty clear, sort of, and then, you know, a few weeks later it'll kind of break out again. It's like, it's like nothing's changed. So number five, I was not expecting my views to change so instantly. Before pregnancy, I was so worried about money. I thought that somehow I needed to, um, just have like financial freedom in order to become pregnant because I just felt like how am I gonna have a baby and not work for you know six or twelve months or however long. The instant that I found out I was pregnant 
that worry just disappeared. I have no idea how that happened because that is so unlike anything that has to do with me. The instant that I found out I was pregnant, I no longer worried about money. Whatever I have set up already, I'm just gonna make it work and it'll just work. Whatever it is, it'll just work. I don't even know how that happened because money was such a huge worry for me. Any judgment that I had ever had before about pregnant women and the things that maybe they were eating, any of those judgments are completely gone. In fact, any judgments I ever had about any pregnant woman and anything she had ever done, whether it was moodiness or diet or I don't know, sleeping or <laughs> being lazy. I don't know anything. Not that I was always judging pregnant women, but, what I'm, but I'm just saying any judgment that I had ever had about pregnant women in the past, completely gone. I totally understand now. So number six and the very last one on my list is that I never even expected to become pregnant. Basically, I wasn't expecting to get pregnant at all. When I think back on it, I was, in my head, I kept imagining being pregnant so much so that when it actually happened, it's, it never ever did really feel real. Even when I became pregnant, if you guys look at my earlier videos, I kept talking about how I was scared about having a miscarriage and part of me really believed that I would never get to this point, I would never get to the point where I would be in my second trimester. I had been hoping for it for so many years that, yeah, by the time it actually happened, even now that it's already happened, it still doesn't feel like it's real. It still just feels like it's all in my head and I'm just pretending I'm pregnant or I'm thinking about being pregnant. Still does not feel real at all. I'm so grateful that I've even made it this far. And I, I'm sure like each week that passes, I have felt it, it has felt a little bit more real, um, but each week that passes, I'm just more and more grateful that this pregnancy actually has gone through. And I'm still in so much disbelief. It's, yeah, it's crazy. I'm still in so much d disbelief, but I'm still extremely grateful that I got to this point. And the day that it clicks in, that it's really happening, like obviously, you know, my logical mind is like, yeah, you're pregnant but um, yeah I just I don't feel like it's really sunk in yet and I'm already you know in my third month but as I said I never even expected to um, become pregnant or to get this far in my pregnancy so I am extremely grateful that I made it this far so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you can relate to any of these sort of um, things that I was not expecting during my first trimester of pregnancy, if you can relate to any of them, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I love hearing from you guys. And please subscribe to this channel as well if you would like to hear more pregnancy updates or anything sort of pregnancy related from me. I love talking to you guys. I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.